Welcome to another Chief Schema video. In this video, which we don't get to do too often, is introduce a new machine. And I'm really excited about this machine. So first I want to start off with this is 240 volt only. So all the explanation, all the specifications I'm going to give on this machine, it's specifically 240 voltage. If you can't use 240 voltage, then this machine's not going to be for you. Now, we've been working on this machine in research and development for well over a year. Um, previously, we for a short time, we made a few of the 125 machines in 240 volt, and they were nice performers. But because everybody seems to want more power, more power, more power, I asked my manufacturer to come up with something different. And this is it. We're calling this machine the 155. So this machine is going to be 155 PSI in 240 volt only. Now, you might notice some similarities between this machine and the 125 machine, the current 125 machine, which is only available in 120 voltage. Believe me, folks, this is not a jacked up 125 machine. This is totally different from the ground up, but the similarities are there. The two knobs for steam adjustment and chemical adjustment are still there. Uh, on-off switch is still there, the heavy-duty on-off switch. Obviously, still the same type of hose and detachment. Um, the two five liter tanks, one for your water fill and one for your chemical injection. And we have the two handles on the back. Now, this machine is a little bit bigger than the current 125, but not by a lot. It's only a couple of inches bigger uh, length, width, and height wise. So we'll do this right now just to give you the dimensions because I always forget to put that on the site. So width wise, the body is 13 inches. 13 inches this way. Height with the wheels. We're at 16 inches, and depth front to back, we're at 17 and a half inches. To the tops of the bike handles, we're at 29 inches. So that's the dimensions. Now, my reasoning for this machine. We know a lot of guys more and more want to wash cars with steam. And because of that, you want more power. I've always said that most 120 volt machines, such as our 75, and our 100 are not made for washing the car. The 125 we did make for washing the car. It's a tried and proven machine that's been out there for a lot of years now, and a lot of guys are using it very successfully to wash a car. But there's still cars that are even dirtier. There's guys that want to do trucks. There's guys that want to do bigger things. People in different industries want more power. So the only way to get more power is to go to 240 volt, and we'll explain that in a couple of different videos. There's gonna be a number of different videos on this machine. But like I said, this is not a jacked up 125 machine. A lot of the components in this machine are different. They're upgraded because they have to handle higher heat. They have to handle higher pressure. Even within this hose, even though this hose looks exactly the same as the hose on all our other machines, the actual steam hose that goes through the coiling is made of a more heavy duty material to handle the higher pressure, the higher heat. There's more brass and Teflon tubing in this machine, and it's a thicker grade. The body is a thicker grade stainless. The boiler is thicker. The boiler is bigger. The heating element is bigger. Now, let's talk about specs just for a quick second before we end this video. 155 PSI, and again, that's starting pressure. Even with 240 volt, we're going to drop pressure, which we're going to show in a couple of different videos. So we're starting at 155. It's going to drop, but it's going to hang in there really, really well at about 125. So you're going to get good constant pressure at about 125. It's going to recover extremely fast. It's going to heat probably in about seven minutes from a cold start. This is a four liter boiler. So to heat a four liter boiler in seven minutes is a really good heat up time. Again, 240 volt only. We're using a 3800 watt heater, which is big. Now, uh, in another video, we'll explain the specs a little bit more and why we did and why we did not make this machine bigger, why we didn't make it even more heavy duty. But we just in this video, I just wanted to give you a view of the machine, uh, what it's like, how it differs a little bit from the 125, the current 125 machine, and if it'll work for you as far as the body goes. We purposely wanted to make this machine smaller in size to be able to easily transport and if it ever needed to be shipped back for repair to make it easier to do. We're always thinking about that. So let's move on to another video and uh, let's talk more about the 155 machine in 240 volt only.